Okay, everyone. Welcome to the month of September. Welcome to our coffee chat. Have some fun things to share with you this afternoon. So let's jump right in. And here we go. So the first thing, of course, we're going to get started is with our September home maintenance checklist. We're going to start heading into the cooler times of the year. And it's time to kind of get things back on track after the summer months. And there's a couple of things that we always check for. And of course, there's things that are now coming up on our quarterly and semi-annual basis. Cleaning the microwave and oven, checking our garbage disposal, cleaning and unclogging our sink drains, always looking into vacuuming dryer, lint trap, and walking around and inspecting our home's interior for any issues is on our monthly checklist. Next, we're going to clean our range hood filters. This month, we're also going to check our smoke and carbon monoxide alarms, clean our ceiling blade fans, cleaning drains, checking toilets, cleaning and unclogging shower heads, cleaning and servicing the furnace. That is something that I have on the September checklist for a good reason, because everybody's going to wait until it's going to get cold, which is October and November, and do things then. So my suggestion to you is schedule those appointments now, because you're going to be able to get better times, better appointments, and not have to wait for your time in line. And also, it is time for you to check your chimneys and get your fireplace cleaned in anticipation of the cold weather as well. I'm a big proponent of doing those things ahead of time. So that way, again, you're not waiting for the next available appointment that may not happen for a few weeks. Our bonus tip today is for you to buy and use and have these tight pens to go in your car and in your purse. They can be lifesavers if you're out and about and you have a pretty top or a nice dress on and then coffee spills or something else happens or you get some marinara sauce during dinner time. Uh, tie to go is a lifesaver to help you make your life easier, all right? So, so that's, that's our September checklist. So what I want to share with you is of course, uh, after the month of August, we look at how the market and what has been happening in the world of real estate um, after August. So we're heading into this month of September, which means that we had the opportunity to evaluate what happened in the first and second quarter. And um, I have some interesting stats here for you. So we do this tracking every year. As you can see, things have slowed down um, a little bit. We're kind of heading into that direction, yet things are still going strong. As you can see, the uh, year 22 was a record year for real estate. And uh, there's a little bit of a slowdown and you definitely can see the slowdown in, uh, in 2023. And the big reason for that is, is that a lot of people have mortgages that have under 4% rate. Not a lot of people want to make a move because the current rates are in high, uh, low sevens, seven and a quarter. So we get that. Here are where the mortgage rates are currently. We're kind of tracking them. And as you can see, a lot of people are kind of moaning and they are just saying that it's a challenging time. The rates are definitely hard and, they're, and the, the home prices are high. But what I can tell you is if you look at this graph, since we started tracking the rates back in the 70s, you can see that our current rates are nowhere near some of those that were in the height of the market in the 70s and 80s. And, you know, when you're talking to some older generation like baby boomers, they're like, oh, what, 6%, 7%? Oh, that's not a big deal. We remember the time when our rates were at 16%, our rates were 12%, and we still bought because we need a place to live. But just keep that in mind, six and a half, 7% interest rates are not bad. They're doable. It just takes some planning and having an action plan together, which we can always get together and put together with you. That's right. It's kind of working together. Now, another slide, there's a huge eye, eye opener that I want to share with you is this one. Depending on what is your goal and how you feel about being a car owner or thinking about purchasing a home, it makes a difference. What is more important to you, a dream car or a dream home? 
So let's let's look at some of these numbers because here is the one statistics that I want you to keep in mind. And yes, I do know that the price of cars has gone up significantly because of the lag in production back during COVID time in 2021. So some of the cars are actually on back order right now. The prices have, in have increased. So just take a moment and think about what that means for you. So the statistics is for every $50,000 in car debt at today's rate that we have, you are actually going to lose $200,000 in home purchasing power. I want you to think about this for just a second and see that $50,000 in a car debt, which starts to deteriorate in terms of its value as soon as it rolls off the dealer's lot, means that you can afford less by $200,000 in the home purchasing power if you decide to get that dream car. So here are two scenarios for you. We're going to take a look at a dream car versus a dream home, right? So if you bought a $200,000 home in 2014, that is our scenario where the rate was 4% and you put 20% down and you own a truck that you bought in 2015, your mortgage payment is about $1,600 and your truck is paid off if you took out a loan for full five years, okay? So in the scenario where you're going to do a budget home and have that dream car, what you're going to do is you're going to keep the living in your current home and you're going to buy your dream car again. And in as crazy as it is, the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer is going to cost you about $100,000. Can you imagine that? So your car payment is $1,800, which is more than your mortgage payment, right? Okay, so you add 1,800 plus 1,600 mortgage payment, then you're gonna have an interest deduction. You total debt in this scenario. If you have your dream car that you're driving, that awesome Jeep, you're going to be paying about $3,300 a month. Next, let's move on to another scenario. Same thing, you bought your house, you own the truck in 2015, your mortgage is $1,600 and the truck is paid off. Yet the way you're going to think about it in this scenario is you're going to want to say, you know what, my car is still awesome, I still love it, yet I'm going to now focus on buying that dream home for our family. So we're gonna keep the truck, we're going to sell the house, which is now worth 400,000 that you bought for $200,000 almost 10 years ago. And we're going to buy our dream home for our family for $650,000, right? Because what we're going to do is use the equity that we received from the sale of our 2014 home. We're gonna put that down as a down payment at a currently 7% interest rate, okay? So now look at the numbers. You have no more car payment because your truck is still awesome. Your mortgage payment is about $3,900. You, you can have an interest deduction uh, on your taxes for about $490 and your total monthly payment now is $3,379. And what this means is that you live in your dream home that is perfect for your family and you're only paying an additional $40 a month to be in that dream home. So the question I have for you today, what matters to you? Is it a dream car or a dream home? And whatever your answer is, is okay, as long as you understand what that means in today's dollars, in today's interest rates, and also today's values for a car, as well as for a home. So let me know if this makes sense to you. If you want me to run a similar scenario for what you're thinking about accomplishing. And if you say, hey, Olga, I really want that dream home. Let's figure out how we can make that happen. So it is that time of the year back to school. Some of our kids went back to school last week. Some of us are actually back coming back to school today. So definitely exciting time. The time is when you are kind of like back on track, back from summer uh, chaos, right? Back on the schedule, back in a routine. And just a quick reminder for you to have some things and help yourself and make your life a little bit easier. So one of the things that I always recommend is to help you 
have things ready to go in your car because if your activities are back, your kids are back to doing sports or, or dancing or doing after school programs at school, make sure that your car being your second home is working for you. Here's a list of things that I usually keep and I recommend that you keep in your car to again, help you make life easier and make sure that your kids are not going to eat you alive because there's something that's missing. So toilet paper, paper towels, neutral snacks are important that are cold and heat ready for adults and kids. A case of water is a must. Clorox wipes, Windex, trash bags, hand sanitizer, phone battery, charger pack, blanket, beanies, and gloves are going to be just in time for when the weather gets cold, Ziploc bags and shopping bags for those areas where there are no more grocery bags. And how to help yourself save time so that way you're not always running around and kind of being reactive is put all your bills that you can on your personal and family credit card so that way you are earning the benefits from that credit card. Put all of your uh, credit cards on auto payment so you don't ever have to worry about being late and making those payments. Have a notepad on your fridge so that way you can jot down notes, you can create a grocery list and take it one step further and have notepads pretty much everywhere around you to make your life easier. So here I am sitting in my office. I have a couple of different um, sticky notes and I also have a couple of notepads to jot down ideas. Always do. It's in my office, it's in my, my kitchen, it's in my living room in my bedroom, as well as in my car. So don't tr use your brain as a storage. Your brain is there to come up with ideas. Use paper and pen to help you jot those ideas down, get them on paper so that way you can decide if you want to execute them or not. Take advantage of curbside pickup for your groceries or use Instacart for grocery delivery. Think about how much time it can save you in frustration. While you are sitting with your kids at a sport event, you can quickly put an order together, have Instacart employee delivered to you by the time you get back home. And there you are, just a huge time saver. Get your house cleaning twice a month. Think about that as not money spent. It is an investment to get back time. Time for you to have a self-care afternoon. Time for you to spend with your kids, with your parents, whoever it is that is important to you to do that and plan for unexpected. We are starting to come back to school, which means there's going to be birthday parties and activities and things like that that will be coming up. So buy cards in bulk, get plain cards so that we can jot a quick message depending on the event and occasion. Gift bags and gift cards and you can put all of them in a nice tote and just store them somewhere out of sight, whether it's under your bed or in your closet. September events to enjoy, lots of things that are happening. It's one of my favorite times to go picking some fruit or enjoy uh, fruit and veggie stands or heading to farmer's market. There's lots of things that are happening on both sides of the river. Most of them are full festivals. They're town days. So lots of things that um, I definitely want to put on my own calendar. And that's the way to do it. Don't just look at the event and say, oh, this looks interesting. Go ahead and write it down in your planner. That way, when you are looking at that week ahead and making plans with your family, <coughs> you can say, hey, there's a really cool fall festival that is coming up. Let's do it. Let's go to it. <clears throat> Things to do in New Jersey as well. There is a spirit fair. There is a music festival that is happening. And of course, street fairs and um, craft shows that are coming up as well. <coughs> Lots of holidays as always to the celebrate in the month of September. You know me, I always liked to do different things. So one of my favorites, I think for this month are the guacamole day on the 16th. Talk like a pirate day on the 19th. Celebrate your daughters on the 25th. And if you love coffee, then National Starbucks Day is on the, on the 29th day of this month. Overall, if you're a cat lover and cat owner like me, it is a National Happy Cat Month, National Save Your Photos Month, and National Self-Improvement Month. So lots of different things for you to say, you know what, I'm going to take the time to have this really funky day to celebrate. Just make it fun for your friends and your loved ones to do so. 
And as always, you can join us. We have lots of things that are happening this month, lots of things that are scheduled. You can find all of our events being on uh, live with Olga uh, page. It's always there. You can click on it at any time to see what is happening. We have four webinars that are coming up. Updates on the budget. We're always decluttering every month. So you can come visit us and share with you your own struggles and get some tips and tricks and get motivated again. Back to school family organization tips and tricks. And uh, October 2nd is going to be our, uh, our workshop for veterans on helping them use their home loan benefits. We actually have one tonight as well. And as always, you can reach out to me for any questions. Uh, please let us know how we can help you with your home ownership, with helping you to maintain your home, be a fun member over the, of our community. Of course, if you're looking for an updating consultation in your home, some to get some ideas on what you can do to your home on the budget, let us know. We are doing those in person as well as on Zoom. And we always can help you figure out what your home is currently worth, how you can tap into that equity if you need some extra money, help you make sure that you protect your investment with proper insurance plan. And if you are anticipating a move, we can help you make it possible, as stress-free as possible, of course, anywhere in the United States and Canada. So you can find us on YouTube at Olga St. Pierre and at home with Olga. So this is what I have to share with you today. I hope you had a fun spending a few minutes with me in the beginning of this month. And I look forward to seeing you at any of my workshops, reaching out to you and um, anything else that you can think of. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we will see you next month or at one of our workshops. Bye-bye.